everyone, it's me again. For those who don't know me, my name is Yana. Uh, and we are here in the corner that's called White Cane. Here I speak about different things that are one or the other way connected with blindness or people that can't see. Well, first of all, for, one, for the ones that can see, <laughs> I'm wearing the earrings that are butterflies, right Diego? That's correct. Uh, and these earrings made my sister. Okay, so today we are in our enormous kitchen, <laughs> not true, it's a very small kitchen, and we are going to do some housework here. I, I'll, I'll share with you how I wash the dishes. So first of all, I like to put my apron on, which is what I'm going to do right now, because, well, I, I can get wet, I, I might get dirty of the uh, remains of food that are on the dishes, so I like to protect my clothes, even if I'm using clothes that I wear at home only, like, like right now that I'm wearing sweatpants and, and a simple t-shirt, but I still like to protect my clothes. So now I'm going to the sink. As I already told you in some other videos, for us that can see it's super important that the things are always at the same place. So make sure you always put the, the detergent to the same place and the sponge or whatever you use to wash the dishes. That's what makes things for us easier. And if in your family different people wash the dishes, please have always the same order because if not we can spend a lot of time just looking for the stuff we need to wash the dishes. So are you ready now to wash some dishes with me? Okay, so I'll, I'll open the faucet to get some water on my sponge and I will put some detergent and my, my the dishes I want to wash are in the sink. This is one of the things that I have never stopped doing, even when, when, when I didn't know how to do anything anymore, but I was always able to wash the dishes. You might be wondering why, well, obviously my site doesn't help me figuring out if the dishes are clean or dirty, but I have my, my sense of touch, so I can feel if there are any remainders of food still on the dishes, so that's why I can, how I can wash the dishes pretty well, right, Diego? That's great, very well. Actually, we had a lady that was that was helping us out cleaning, and I figured that she didn't wash the dishes properly, so I asked her not to do any this thing anymore. So I'll start washing the dishes. This one is a glass. I know you can also wash glass, glass or ceramics, but we we change the materials. We have plastic. We have other one that is the plates. What do we have them of? Do we happen to know the expression in English? Um, ceramic, porcelain? No, we changed the plates. They are not that material anymore. What plates do we use? It's a kind of plastic. But very specific plastic, no? Yes. It looks nice, but it's very difficult to break it. Okay? So I already washed the glass. I make sure I wash it out properly. That's what sometimes I did have the issues because the detergent would be inside still. And I put it on the top of the sink where I put the clean dishes forward. I always put wash dishes to the same place also. I have a system. So I know where to put the stuff. I can't, I can't be observing how the pile of dishes looks like. No, I always have the same way of putting the dishes. So now I'll wash the cup that we used to drink our Slovenian coffee a little bit before. Okay, I wash it everywhere. I make sure I wash it out properly. And you can pretty much figure it out if it's washed out enough or not, because if it still has detergent, the stuff is more slippery. Did you know that, Diego? I did not. <laughs> okay, what, what's the name of this thing? I don't know the name and... Um, Something the name to, flip, I forgot. to flip the hotcakes around, no? Well, any, any, any food really you could use it to flip. Okay, but for example... I'm washing it out, and I have it specific place, the stuff like this I always put on the very left part of the sink because I can't no, check, check how the dishes are piled and I can't evaluate how to put the new stuff. Then I have utensils, careful with the knives. I have a mug, a big mug where I put the utensils. Okay, there are some. I wash them out one by one because I can't see if there's still detergent on. 
I think that even you, Diego, didn't know my tricks. I did not know. It's the first time. Now I'm washing out the knife. Since I can't see, I try to prevent any kind of ac accident. So I put the part that is cutting down and the part where you hold it on the top. Because maybe I would, I would be looking for a fork and I would accidentally grab a knife and cut myself. Okay, here's some more utensils. Now I have another cup. Making sure I wash it out properly. And I make like a, like a frame, not like a, a, an L frame with the cups or, or glasses. And now I will wash a plate. Everywhere. In front and behind. I'll wash it out. washed out I touch especially on the part where we serve the food if there are any if there's any food left I don't think so it's clean no yep so I turn it around and I put in the middle of the sink because here's where I put flat things and let's wash a bowl this bowl is also of spe special plastic because I, tr I, I don't want to break too many dishes I know it's doable also with normal ceramics but it's a risky business so I try to avoid, except of special occasions. So again, I, I wash the bowl everywhere, inside, outside. I will wash it out. finished when I finish I touch inside of the bowl making sure it's not dirty I really don't want to embarrass the visits and serve them in dirty stuff or it no obviously not also to the family it's not doesn't feel well so I try to make sure as much as I can that it's not dirty and I put the bowl on the top of the plate this way this is the way I put stuff and the last thing I will wash will be a cutting board okay so again I use the sponge to put detergent Since I can't see, I'm scrubbing it maybe a little bit too much, but better more than less in our case. Both sides. I wash it out. put it to its place I always put it here I, I lean it towards the wall so what, what's the formula for us to wash the dishes well have always the det detergents and the sponges or whatever you use at the same place so it's not that difficult to find them and always put the, the, the dishes that you wash to the same places why so it's you have your system how to do this so the the dishes don't fall and that you can easily find them also in in case you need them and also while well, you we can use the sense of touch while we wash the dishes so if you touch if you touch the dishes after you wash it if you are very careful or if you are very focused you can even tell in many cases if there's still detergent inside and you can always perceive it there's some food left so this way you can you can wash it out properly well, I hope it's useful for you in case you, you have uh, my, my condition that, that you are not able to see. So you can see that it is doable to, to wash the dishes. And in case your family or friend let your, let your blind uh, family members 
wash the dishes because that's something we can do and in case you were just curious how we can do it well I hope you you like the video of course you're very welcome to share it with whoever you think you would would be interested in it and if you're not subscribed to our channel well subscribe so you're notified whenever we publish something new see you here in next occasion bye